the 3DS online tourney. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be getting Banjo versus Richter. This, we're going to be seeing a lot of things get thrown out. Most definitely. I was going to say, I was trying to think of something else to say, but you know, you're right. There's going to be a lot of things flying The B around. button's getting mashed today. Oh, yeah. Like Dom says it himself, just press you never, B. You never needed the A button to begin with. I don't, I don't know what it means. <laughs> Winner's quarters, man. Good to see both of these players. Uh, Terry Bradman coming around a lot more. I uh, haven't seen Dom in a while, honestly. Glad that he's back. Yeah, he's been focusing a little bit more on school and a couple of other things. If you guys follow him on Twitter, uh, he's been flexing his muscles and trying to get sure he's right on track, you know, with his health and all, things like that. That's definitely respectable. Uh, Terry like you said, right, it's good, good to see him coming back. Uh, I felt like it was the slow return after we saw him at Smash Bros. at Church. Mm -hmm. It was on my dream hack, uh, top three, and then now we're seeing him here at MSM. So he's definitely been one of those players who, like, where I talked about it earlier, he was out of action for all of 2019, and then 2020 comes around, and he's like, hey, now I'm at winner's quarters at MSM, top three at DreamHack, top eight at Smash at Church. You know, I, I might have been sitting in the background for a year, but I'm still out here playing. Wait, I thought Terry Bear got fourth and Anti got third. I can't remember. Ah, I'm sorry. You were there. I was there. I just know he was top four. Yeah, he did really well. And he's still doing well. He's he's putting this work on. Yeah. I think the one thing I've always noticed about Terry Blair, uh, Terry Blair, <laughs> Terry Bear, is his game style rem reminds him, I'm sorry, revolves around him pretty much tossing out egg and then going in and confirms. And if he's going to have you hold shield, it's going to open up a lot of possibilities to get grabs. And if he gets into disadvantage, I think the one thing he's always going to have out there is always going to be grenade. Mm -hmm. That grenade is such a good way to, like, Limit space, especially since it explodes on contact. Yeah. Now, oh, um, that was good. That was good from T3. He did not hesitate to just hold shield extra and go for the punish. Yeah, I didn't get the sweet spot, that, which might have killed, honestly. I feel like maybe uh, Holy Water might have been better, but again, he still got damage. Looks good. Slowly bring this back, but... Oh, and doesn't get the up tilt. Yeah, so T3 at this point, he kind of understands. I think the way that Terry is playing, honestly, is like he leads him with eggs, and then go for and confirm. So for T3 to understand spacing is also for him to understand, like, okay, what projectile will Terror Bear use at certain situations, certain spaces? Mm -hmm. Missed the grab here, unfortunately, because he got hit on the other side of the stage. He tries to hit the down angle forward air. Yep, mm -hmm. gets the back air. That's going to be it. 124, not too much to scoff at, but Dom can get, he, he can bring this back. Yeah, it's more about, like, how comfortable is he with fighting a lot of, like, Terror Bear's eggs, his grenade, his being grabbed. It's kind of, I feel like this is a first encounter for T3 in terms of fighting Banjo, but also in, uh, in terms of fighting Terra Bear as well. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he was out for the remainder of 2019. We never really saw him. Gets the back air. Nice. Looking to follow up with the neutral air, but immediately changes things here. Mm -hmm. And it really just looks like the projectile war is being won by Terra Bear here. These eggs have just been so annoying for Dom. He doesn't have the space to really throw out his cross. And usually when he gets them out, it gets clanked with the X, so it just kind of sends it back. So yeah. I think that's really good. It's also one of those things too, that like you have to really lay on the pressure on Banjo. You can't give him that opportunity for mm -hmm. using things like egg and grenade because then he's going to be moving in and out of your range. I think that's the one thing Terra always amounts for is like, is if, he, if he's in disadvantage, he's always trying to find ways to come back on the stage while having T3 holding shield or being scared to be at the ledge and then allow Terra Bear to go ahead and just get in with a side special. As you say, that does an unsafe Wonder Wing, gets that F smash, now at one stock apiece. Really what, Ter uh, what Dom needs to look out for is these eggs. Once he puts out the uh, the uh, the bird and gets those single egg confirmed, that can lead into up tilts or just different tech situations. Yeah. That's where we've seen him get a lot of damage. See, yeah, and that's his opportunity here. He's, he knows, okay, if I keep Dom pressured here with an egg and he finally gets Dang. a move in like that, he'll just finish up the stock because he can just eat. I think Terra is really good at just canceling the one hit egg into another move and he knows when his opponent is that close to him he can cancel into another hit uh for those of you guys wondering though terror bear is sitting right next to mm leo uh from san diego terror bear is from san diego so um i guess he's like replacing i wouldn't say replacing he can't replace anybody but he's kind of like traveling with the the, the young bloods. Rep, yeah. yeah the young bloods i would say because mm leo shangri t day these are all newer players who we haven't seen in smash 4 so we'll see how things go here for game two. I felt like, once again, like I said earlier, um, T3 not used to fighting Banjo at all. I mean, honestly, who really is? We only have necessarily one representative of the character here, and that would be Terra himself. 
Yeah. So we'll see what T3 can do against us in game two. I feel like the one thing he was doing really good, either way, when it was like looking really tough for him, is keeping spacing like that. Like even though he has to worry about eggs and Terbear's slow approach, it's the fact that as long as he can make sure that Terbear is away as possible and then possibly whip on him for going in, he'll win majority of the battles. Mm -hmm. And going over to Town and City for game two, I do like this. It does set, it seemed like Dom was getting really suffocated on Smashville. A little too uh, claustrophobic for his liking, so I think yeah. Crown's going to be really good for him to open up, set his space to get out these projectiles. So I'm wondering how this game is going to go now. I feel like at times you do have to treat Banjo because it's really similar to how you shoot Snake, right? Mm -hmm. If you have a self a smaller stage, those explosions will cover more of the ground. And the way that Terra is able to close in the gap between him and T3, that means a smaller stage means gives T3 less room to run around or get away in this case. Okay, okay not going to kill. That's good. I, he, I like the fact that he tossed cross. Went for holy water on the ground. So that's, that's kind of keeping Terra Bear a little bit away from the stage. Oh, great. Gets, that was so sneaky. Gets the angled forward air. Yeah, slowly we're starting to see Terra Bear definitely understand that. Nice. He sees that Terra Bear wanted to go for the cancel and then maybe a possibly a cross up. So he goes for an immediately up out of shield just to get away from that situation. And then he punishes Terra Bear for being that close. Mm -hmm. Once again, keeping the spacing game here in mind, I do like the fact that that's what TJ is kind of like hopping to play. The one minute, the second the Terra Bear closes in the gap, though, he knows he can get combo. Wonder we not gonna kill. Oh, I like oh. the idea, but he had his jump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now he's still still learning, man. Catches the jump. The up tilt strong, but Town and City, big boy. I, I see, I see the muscles on the Richter, man. He ain't that fly. Like. <laughs> man, been working out. He knows vampires are heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, probably not, man. <laughs> Werewolves are. <laughs> Werewolves thick. No, Frankenstein. Wonder Anyways. Wings, uh, Wonder Wings still not killing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I noticed that sometimes that uh, Bear is very nonchalant about just tossing a Wonder Wing. Yeah. But he also is very that's aware of it. Yeah, that's it. He's also very aware of, like, okay, I'm at high percent, like, at 140. And if I use my Wonder Wing nonchalantly, then that's fine because I'm going to lose my stuck at one more opportunity or another. Mm -hmm. Nice. Tossing the grenade here, kind of causing T3 to hold the shield. Yeah. And and a, another thing about the uh, the Wonder Wings is a lot of the times when Terra will go for the Wonder Wings, he'll have that grenade out so it'll be near him to cause another explosion to kind of keep himself safe. Yeah. Cause a dash tag with the forward air. Back throw here, Terra sets up the play immediately, but he kind of got caught by getting a hold of the holy water. He still has it in hands, too. Honestly, let it go, mate. You can do other things. It's a good play, too, because it gives him the opportunity to go for things like that. I was going to say, it's the reason why we see Terra Bear uh, pull out grenade every single time. He's usually in disadvantage. Mm -hmm. There are some certain tricks going to do. Back throw won't do it, but this allows T3 the stage and the ability to get the setup. That was such a sneaky grenade. Yeah, grenade. that was. Yeah. And, the, and it was actually the explosion that caught T3 in the middle of the jump, too. Mm -hmm. So now Dom looking like Town and City was a good play. He's able to really escape these eggs that have been causing him so much trouble. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, like you want to have a bigger stage against characters like Snake and Magic Missouri. Simply because their ability to have traps and use projectiles and items like that. Um, the smaller the stage, the closer you are, the more to the range. Especially like Banjo, where you can just close the gap immediately with eggs. Once again, goes for the higher setup here with the Holy Water. This is going to buy Terra a little bit of time on the left side of the stage here. Still in disadvantage, though. Switching spaces, 102. T3 is not faltering oh, so far. Yeah, that was really good. Oh, this is opportunity? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to SDI out of it. Yo, man, using the Thundercats. Yeah, yeah, definitely whipped him into game three. Two stock returning for Dom. That was looking really good. But now we're on Terra counter pick. I could only assume that Smash will, we're not going to see that for game three. Yeah. And that is what you guys are seeing. Terra Bear is using the Joy-Con controller adapter. Um, Terra Bear was really, really used to... The Wiimote and Nunchucks. Yeah, Wiimote and Nunchucks. He, used, he rocked those for, like, years, man. He used that to rock foe. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. I, I, I was, like, getting lost here. All right, well, it looks like Terra Bear is doing a little bit more of a side switch. I, I guess we could just talk to these two that are about counter pick advantage and disadvantage. I feel like... I think he's just more comfortable with it like that. Yeah, I mean, now he's got the crowd on his side. This is this is kind of a funny thing I actually tell people in certain tournaments in Japan. This is actually how they play because in certain games like Tekken, um, they are used to having their own individual setup. Mm -hmm. That way, both players are set up in like the same size. Yeah, the player one side. The, the player one side, and also in Street Fighter and vice versa. So. 
they're used to playing like in this kind of style. Uh, but sometimes they've opted to go more of the American traditional style, where you just share a monitor because that's how we just rock at Evo and other major tournaments. It's a lot of Japanese players in this case. I'm, yeah, I'm liking the two monitor system a little bit more. Give me yeah, my same, own stuff. Same. Give my own stuff. I earned it. Anyways, game three, I was wrong. I didn't think we were going to see Smashville again. Oh, no. Terror Bear put himself in such a really weird position here. Awkward enough, but still gets hit by the back air. Nice. Oh, Even great able parry. to shield the cross on the way back. See, now that we're back to Smashville, like you said earlier, right? this is more of a Terror Bear pick. This allows him to kind of close the gap between him and T3. But now I feel like going into town and city where T3 got comfortable fighting Terror Bear, he's kind of known the trade secrets here that Terror Bear's been rocking. Yeah, see how much, see how small the stage is? He just can't get uh, away yeah, from it. Yeah, he just can't get away from it, too. And I still like the fact that T3 will always take the time to just toss Cross away. If he does get caught, if he does see Terra Bear going for an aerial, like he will usually try to either MP hop or go for a side special in the air to catch T3. He has to account for Cross. Ooh, Div, not nice. the best forward there, kind of threw him off stage. Now Dom has a bit of chance to get back to center stage. That's going to be a punish. Great that was down good, smash, that was good, but that was good. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately it doesn't even kill, but it's still enough to give like T3 Dom the stage to work That's with it. and the punish, yeah. Like you said, those willy-nilly Wonder Wings are the kind of the life and the death of a lot of these Banjo mains. They're always like, oh, I'm invincible, maybe I'll catch them, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Yeah, and the way that T3 also sets up cross, too, you think of the life and death, that's always life and death for T3. The way that the cross comes back on the stage is really good to break from grabs, combos, aerial approaches, mm -hmm. return to stage. It just covers a lot of situations. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely puts you in that emergency uh, like mindset. You're like, oh, no, I have to do something now. The cross is coming back. Yeah, exactly. Only 13% on Terror Bear, not too much of a lead. Nice. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, too, it's all about the spacing that T3 can definitely put out against Terror Bear. Avoid egg as much as possible. A uh, grenade is the one you should fear a little bit more. Mm. But it also depends on how close Terror Bear is, too. If the farther Terror Bear is, it's much better. But the closer, that's where things get scary. Yeah. You combo into an air that, That's such a... Oh, wow. Goes for an interesting wondering. Yeah, I definitely think the grenade needs to be feared a little more. But the eggs, like you said, at that close range, it just... It, it stops so many things that Dom is doing. And look, already at 78. Can he land? The wings. The wonder uh, wings. Oh, my God. Yeah. That bird put in work. And this is the situation where T3 pretty much had the lead, and then Terra just kind of snuck in with each egg, brought it right back to the situation he wants to be, man. Each egg is cracking like a close Easter. I'm saying. But, well, hold up, hold up. Terra has not been on the on the stage in a while. He doesn't know what he's looked like. He's on vacation. Yeah. Finally gets back with 126. Dom is turning it up. Nice. Oh, we're not, not going to get the sweet spot, though. Well, I still like the fact that he took out uh, Axe, but I would have loved to have seen him just go for a different kind of play. I still respect it, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, such a setup here at the ledge. Dom is, Dom is putting on such good pressure. I love this kind of... I love how he's just turned up now. No more Wonder Wings, though. Yeah. And I, f I feel like that's one thing that Terra has slowly adjusted himself, is he knows. You know what? T3 is going to hold that shield that's extra long. He's gonna, yeah, fourth throw. That's going to take care of the stock. 27%. The shoe is now on the other foot for um, Terra Bear. For a good minute. That was just the Dom game. Yeah. Dom looking dominant. I saw uh, pun intended there. Yeah, let's, nice. Let's see if they're able to keep it up and get this last dock. It's game three. Oh. Winner will move on to semis. I know both these players want it. Oh, oh bad no. neutral get up. That was a tough, yeah, that was a bad neutral get up in general. Nonetheless, Otair Bear. Uh, T3 kind of shaking.